Nana William Ofuriata was the son of Nana Se Ofuriata I, who was the Omahini of Achimibuakwa between 1912 and 1943. He was thus a nobleman of royal lineage of the Ofuriata dynasty. He attended infancy Pim school but was withdrawn to Achimota school where he was among the first batch of students to sit for the Cambridge school certificate. His batch of students also pioneered the intermediate degree programs. William of Furiata was also the first ever school prefect of the school. The batch went on to form the nucleus of the University of Ghana. He attended Queen's College, University of Cambridge from 1935 to 1938. He became a lawyer in 1956. He won one of the Achimibuakwa seats during the 1951 Gold Coast election and later became the leader of the United Party in opposition to Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Ofuriata was detained by Nkrumah during the First Republic under the Preventive Detention Act. During the Second Republic, he was Minister for Education and then Minister for Foreign Affairs in Dr. Buzia's Progress Party government. He was an active member of the People's Movement for Freedom and Justice, which campaigned against the Union government concept by General I.K. Echampon, then head of state of Ghana and chairman of the Supreme Military Council, SMC. This was an attempt by the military regime to extend military rule instead of handing back power to civilians. After the fall of the SMC, he stood for president in the 1979 presidential election on the ticket of the United National Convention, coming third with 17.41% of the popular vote. Eventually, he became chairman of the Council of State for the Third Republic. William of Furiata was a Christian and played various roles in Christian circles. He was one of the founders of the Accra Chapel Trust, now the Kolebu Community Chapel, an independent evangelical church at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Accra in 1967. Ofuriata delivered the J.B. Dankwa Memorial Lectures organized by the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1985. His topic was Ghana, a nation in crisis. He died in 1988 and was given a state burial. In 1934, William accompanied his father as a private secretary in a high-power delegation to the United Kingdom to protest against the waterworks and sedition bills. He was a member of the Cambridge University Democratic Front and gave speeches against colonialism and shared the same platform with Stafford Cripps, Creed Jones, George Padmore, and Jomo Kenyatta. On his return home, he taught at Achimota School from 1939 until 1943. As a devoted teacher, powerfully inspired and influenced his students by his learning and charming personality. He prepared his lessons assiduously and delivered them with stunning clarity, wit and humor. Today, one can identify many of Paoli's former students who have distinguished themselves in various fields of our national life.